What is up, guys? Back with the Pokemon Oros live Wi-Fi battle, dabbling in PU. Got a battle against Ben, which is also known as um, P or BK Luxray. Um, channel link will be in the description, so you can go check him out. He does some decent content on his channel. Um, pretty damn good stuff over there. Um, back with the PU match today. Uh, he actually does not have enough PU Pokemon in his PC set, so he does have a couple of RU and a different tier in any Pokemon's. So we're back with the same team as we had. Um, for this week's Wi-Fi battle, the Choice Specs, uh, Zep Striker, Choice Banded Basculin, Focus Ashy Mauga, uh, Leftovers Speed Barrel, Light Clay, Meow Stick with Prankster, and uh, Focus Ash Ninjask. Uh, we actually had a battle a little bit ago, and I actually got a DC, so we just have to redo it. I guess, I don't know if we're going to do the thing with, uh, that we just rechased our steps, because last time we led with the Zip Striker. Um, predicting the bee bear also that was good prediction on his part but I don't know if we're going to read taste or saps or we can do whatever we want now but I'm just going to assume we can do whatever we want because <laughs> I don't really know if it, I'm assuming he's going to lead with whatever he wants now because we already saw what we we're going to lead with so I'm going to judge that he's going to leave with the zip strike again for the volt switch um, he actually made a weird, uh, cool prediction actually last time and actually went for the signal beam so we know that it has signal beam um, before we got the DC because he had bad internet or some shit but um and you know what? I know it wasn't a rage quit because he was still online after um after the DC or whatever so it was an internet issue uh I'm gonna pre predict the zip strike to lead so um should I get my screens up is that the question the same thing here is actually leave with Malga I'm gonna leave with a Malga because we was outspeed most of the shit on his team and um the only thing that outspeed is, is the uh, Ami Palm which might lead actually on this time because that's the best lead for him and it does a lot of work to my team it breaks a lot of my sashes I have two sash Pokemons on this team and it really breaks the sashes so that's the thing that's actually going to be a big threat I need to take that thing out immediately getting the stealth rocks would not be fun, um, not be bad either because he does have a lot of stuff that is weak, weak to stealth rocks so that'll be nice he's going to do the zip strike okay well I predicted right again you that or we were supposed to retrace our steps but I guess that's my bad, I guess, if we weren't going to retrace, or if we were going to retrace our steps. But, um, I'm assuming this thing can't touch us unless it has to overheat like mine does. Uh, last time it went for the signal beam, so I'm assuming it might not have to overheat. Either that or he just went for the signal beam because he didn't want to get the minus special attack. So I'm actually going to set up an agility here. So I can outspeed anything on his team. He's going to, oh yeah, it carries the overheat. Okay, well that sucks. How much is this going to do? Oh, I'm assuming you didn't have the overheat the way you went for the signal beam when I switched out on the last thing before the DC, but um, we know we outspeed now. Question is, should we encore him in? I really need the thing though. I really need this. I still need to keep this Amalga around because it outspeeds most of its team and I can always encore something in. Pretty sure he might not even stay in. I don't really know. I Maybe mean, you should have went for the air slash there. Um, either that or I should have predict predicted the overheat, which I kind of thought you didn't have, judging last time. Maybe just went out into the, into the Meow Stick, but... I'm actually going to predict him to switch out here. I'm going to go into Meow Meow Stick to get the screens up. Because I don't really know if he's going to stay in here with uh, minus two. Minus two overheat should not do much. It's uh, not stab. It's... Uh, shouldn't be doing much. I'm assuming this thing is specs. The way uh, he's lo might be locked in, actually. Either that or it might be specs or choice scarfed. The way it actually outsped my Amalga, it might be Choice Scarf. I can look it up right now, actually, because I have Poketype. So I'm going to look it up if uh, Zip Striker actually outspeeds Amalga. It might actually freeze. Phone froze. I'm going to look it up real quick. I'm actually watching somebody's Twitch stream, but I'm um, assuming that he doesn't. I'm actually going to set up the light screen. He might actually switch. Let's look it up on Poketype real quick. While we have time. Uh, what the fuck is this? Zeb Striker, Zeb. Zeb Striker, it's young. I think, I'm pretty sure it has a big base 100 something speed. Base 116, I think it does outspeed Amalga naturally, because I'm pretty sure Amalga is like base 102 or something. Uh, let's see real quick. 
Base 103. Cool. Okay, so we do not know if it's Choice Scarf because it would outspeed natural. It has better. Uh, has. Uh, I really forget. I should forget the speeds of both of those, but. I don't think he's actually going to stay in here. So I'm actually going to set up the light screen to get it up. Yeah, he's going to. I think that might be Choice Specs or Choice Scarf. That's what I'm assuming. The way he's switching it out. I'm going to go into the Ami Palm here. Maybe I should have went for, for the Reflex predicting this. I kind of thought he would go into this. But. Nothing I can really do now. Um. He may, I'm pretty sure the fake out is going to come anyways. I'm going to go for the reflect and take on the off chance. It might be fake out last resort, but fake out here didn't see much it does. That does a lot, actually. Life orb. Okay, we know it's life orb. It might be last resort and the palm too. We do not have any ghost types, which kind of sucks. I'm going to go for the reflect. Either I might switch out here and keep the um, keep the fake out. Break off my ninja sash. Ninja sash is really frail, actually, too. So it has knock off. Okay, gonna knock off my. Well, at least we got the screens up before the light clay that got knocked off. My meow six basically uses now. Um, if I do need something for heal bell, though, it still would be good to keep it around. I really don't see the use though, so we're gonna let it go down. And on the off chance we doubt speed, let's go for a side shock. I don't think we do. This thing's actually our use. It has a break break predicting the switch. <laughs> Wait, no, never mind. Break break. <laughs> Just broke all my screens. Never mind. Good play on his part. Oh my god. We got that. Uh, that's Brick Break's effect. Good switch here. Good switch here. I'm gonna go. I know I outspeed with Ninjask. Max speed. Um, base 160 speed. Amy Palm's only like base like 100 or some shit. So. We should be able to outspeed. I'm going to go for an X scissor. Uh, I already know he's going to go out to. I should have took a picture of his team. Which is a bad thing on my part. He might go out to the Luxray here and get the Timidate off. If he has the Timidate and Luxray. Uh, maybe I'll do the Zip Strike up. But I still outspeed with one plus one speed boost. Even if it's Choice Scarfed. I do have my Focus Sash still intact. So see how much an X scissor does. If he does stay in. He's going to withdraw. All right, maybe, and now if, since I do have the plus speed boost. I can always Baton Pass out. He's going to go to Cedra. See how much this does. That does nothing. Oh my gosh. Okay. This thing must be a defensive. Yeah, that or it's maybe evil light, so. <clears throat> Focus energy is coming, I know that. Plus one speed, though. We can get plus, plus one speed into something. If we do Bakhtan pass out. What would want one plus one? The Sib Strike is still around too. That might have the motor drive. So I cannot uh, go into any electric types. Because that will always come in and get the free plus one. Search attack or speed. Depending if he's run it, running uh, motor drive or motor. Whatever the other thing is. Motor drive or whatever the... I think I forget what the other one is. Uh, Cedar, what's your speed? Look what Cedar's speed is. Shit, seeking? No, no, no. I'm seeking. Uh, what's your speed, Cedra? I know it will be pretty bulky. It has base 85, so it ain't gonna outspeed most of our stuff. Eviolite. It does have base, I think, like shitload of defense here. Base 45 and base 95 defense, so it is pretty. Oh crap, I got timed out. Okay, well, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with disabling. I'm fine with the disable. I'm fine with that, okay? Oh, it has some decent bulk. I don't know if uh, Basculin can come in from this range and pick it off. But a plus two speed B barrel is nothing to laugh at, and I would like to get my stealth rocks up. So this thing might actually carry Charge Beam also. I think it learns Charge Beam and Thunderbolt, so. I'm gonna baton pass. Uh, luckily, he went for the disable there, and I was, wasn't even paying attention. I got timed out, but. 
I'm going to put on pass out here and see what, what he goes for. I'm thinking about going into B barrel, but uh, is it really worth it? The Stealth Rocks would be nice. But a plus two Basculin with choice band adaptability wouldn't be bad either. Either. I'd have to lock myself into crunch though, which kind of sucks because the water is resisted. This still might do a lot more with the waterfall though. I'm going to go into the B barrel. I'm going to take a risk. Hopefully, he did not go for the Thunderbolt. I'm screwed. Toxic, okay, well, that kind of sucks now though, because my Meowstic is down. I can't, I do not have a heal bell. But that's good because I do have the facade. And he has nothing to get rid of rocks, unless his Noctowl has the defog. So I'm going to set the rocks up real quick. He might go for a focus energy here. This is kind of more supported Seedra, as we can see. It has dis disable, toxic, I'm guessing. Disable, if that's okay, you can disable my stealth rock. I'm fine with that. That forest can counteract the toxic damage right now, so we can get a facade off at least at what at what it's all worth, I guess. We're at plus two speed, so that's the only reason we're outspeeding this thing. If he leaves, he's probably gonna go for a disable here. Then again, I don't know if he can disable uh, two moves on a Pokemon. I kind of I think there might be a restriction against that now in this gen. I know you can do it in 5th gen, you can uh, disable like, every, like the Pokemon's all its moveset. He's going to withdraw here, okay, what's he going into? Ambipom, okay, well this ain't going to deserve a, a facade from a B-Barrel that's adamant nature, max, or uh, max, uh, not, well, I'm not invested in attack, but I'm adamant. Okay, well that's nice, that's nice. I think it might have lived with the Stealth Rocks not being there, so the Stealth Rocks definitely came in the clutch right there. Otherwise, I don't think I would have took that out. That is a big threat off the field now, so uh, we still have our Ninjaska scale, so which is nice. So we, if we do need to take a hit, we still have the, uh, or not the scale, the Focus Sash. So, Toxic is racking up though, so you might be able to take advantage of that. And you get the free switch into the Zeb Striker now if you want. I have nothing that really wants to take a hit from the Zeb Striker. Then again, he actually, I think I might, he might over predict. He's going to go into the Zeb Striker here. Question is, will he go for the Thunderbolt? I'm pretty sure he might actually go for the like lock himself into overheat. So I'm gonna stay in actually, and um, I'm gonna go for facade would be more powerful. I'll see what's more powerful, cause I am statist. I would like to get as much damage off as I can. It's stab also, so I'll see what's more moves more powerful. But his facade is base 70, but it's 140 with stab. 80 uh, with stab is only like 100, so facade is more powerful. It's base 140 now since it's double power plus stab is like one, I think 160 something. So staying in, I'm gonna uh, I'm predicting him to over predict. Hopefully he does not go for thunderbolt. Um, I'm predicting him to go for the overheat here, predicting the maga. Yes, he is gonna over predict. That's nice. I was predicting that. All right. I'm just gonna do that. Still does that same lot amount. Oh my gosh. That oh that's because of crit. Well, you don't know if it's specs now. But it should die on this turn. Goodbye. Got a little B barrel sweep going here, which is nice because we were down a couple folks. Uh, we do need to keep the basculine around for basculine around for the uh, late game sweep, which is nice. We got to keep that thing around, and we got to keep our ninjask uh, ninjask sash. I can only probably get one more facade off if we do outspeed whatever else comes in. Um, good switch for him now is probably the Knocked Owl, because he can just take the facade and go for the Roost and not be dead with toxic damage. That's probably what I would do if he carries the Roost. You better go for the Defog, get rid of the rocks. Or Butterfree might come out too and set up a Quiver Dance. That always would be something different, but you have to take a uh, Luxray is going to come out. Is it Intimidate? Has intimidate Lux right? Okay, well we're minus, minus one now. It doesn't really pay saving this uh, this B barrel anymore, cause we're so low the way it is. If I can lock him into an electric type move, though, we can go out into the mall getting out speed. Unless this thing is choice scarfed. Um, I'm assuming a zip or a zip striker was choice scarfed, cause we are at plus two speed. Um, I think we might have could have outsped if it was um n normal. 
uh, without the choice scarf. So it might have been choice scarfed. Maybe this thing might be banded or something like that. Um, you never see special lux ray, so it has to be a physical lux ray. Um, let's go for a facade. We should outspeed and get a decent amount of damage off. I'm assuming this is uh, going to be. Oh, it has a citrus berry. Well, that kind of sucks. That was basically just <laughs> worthless hit. He's going to go for the Volt Switch here. If it would have been a Thunderbolt, I would have been able to come in and lock him into the Thunderbolt with the Encore, which would have been nice. I can get a free um, switch. You would have to switch out and get a free agility or a free speed boost if you stayed in. Now we get this type of uh, switch advantage, though. Butterfree is going to go out. Stealth Rock's going to bring it down to half, which I really wanted to get those Stealth Rocks up because of that reason. He has two flying types, and uh, Luxray takes 15% each time. So, what's your speed, Lux or, uh, Butterfree? Got to keep an eye on that timer, too. What is your speed? Base 70. Okay, base 70. So I think our all mogul should be able to outspeed this thing and still kill it with the um, Electro Ball, so that would be nice. We can get rid of this thing. This is a big threat. If it does get, it does outspeed us, us though. Um, it should not outspeed us though, because we are max speed. I think we're timid nature, so um, there's like no way it's a, it should outspeed us unless it's choice scarfed. Which choice scarf butterfree is a thing, but you can't run the sleep powder in the quiver dance, which it really relies on um, to be a sweeper. That's basically the only thing. That's why it's in uh, PU still. It's not way down in NFE. So let's go for the Electro Ball. He has nothing that wants to really take a ledger ball either, because he still has uh, two electric wings, he says. Down goes Butterfree. Big threat off the field right there, actually. If he would have, I think if he would have went into my B barrel, uh, he would have went for the, into the Butterfree with the B barrel. Um, he would have been able to probably take a facade and actually get a sleep powder or uh, the quiver dance up, and then probably outspeed everything once I died of toxic. That's probably what I would have did. But then again, the stealth rocks are up, and then there's not right really guarantee you'll live a facade from a, from a guts or not a uh, facade um, from a toxic bee barrel. He's gonna go to the Lux Ray. He knows I have the Volt Absorb. I really do not want to lose this thing, so I can't come in. I knew I know I'll speed. Uh, I can't talk. I do have speed the Lux Ray, so um, I want to keep this thing around. This, the only switch in I have for this thing is actually my Zip Striker, so I'm assuming, I'm mean, hopefully an uh, electric movie is still coming my way. Bad thing about Luxray, if it would if would really benefit from a uh, motor drive ability or something like that, I'm gonna go for the crunch, safe crunch, okay. Luckily he's actually an Intimidate too, and I'm pretty sure we outspeed. It does not have motor drive, but the only two abilities you can get is Guts and uh, Intimidate, so. We can Volt Switch here, actually. I don't really see the point of Volt Switching. We have Round. <laughs> I got the I got Round on here because I can't learn. It doesn't have HP Ice. And it, the HP Ice for this Zip Striker would be HP Steel, which I don't really see the point of it when you have a Baskel and weighing the wings. The only good thing against Steel is good for is actually Ice Types and Rock Types, which there's like no Ice Types in PU anymore because since Glalie moved up to RU and shit, so. Over he should do a decent amount of this thing where when we can come in with our um, Emolga and take it out because we do have to be with our Emolga and, uh, and then it's starting to look like it. we'll forget the um, the knocked owl down with our Emolga because we do have to be the knocked owl too uh, we can come in with a Bastion and start doing a little sweeping wow it lives on like 1 HP wait no never mind I thought it lived <laughs> live, never mind That gives him the free switch into a seed riddle. Kind of sucks. Could always disable me knowing I'm choice specs because he might have saw that battle or the battle up for um on uh Monday the Monday's battle. He probably did watch the Monday's battle because his team kind of seemed like that. Telling my team a little bit. I have really no good switch in for this thing actually. Uh, the only thing he ha does have though is actually his um, knocked out and his this here uh, seed uh, left. The focus ash isn't really that um, needable right now actually. 
Because the Noctowl, I don't really see it one-shotting a ninja ask anyways. It can go toxic it, which wouldn't really care. I wouldn't really matter because it would just break the focus ash anyways. So I'm actually going to go out into the ninja ask here. Um, there's no way he's going to go for a Thunderbolt on Electric type. I can tell you that right now. He might actually go for the disable, which is would be nice. But we're going to go. We're going to go into ninja ask. Hopefully he goes for the disable or the toxic. I'm predicting actually maybe a toxic coming from this thing or a uh, focus or a uh, focus energy. Syrup, okay. Eat it, ninja ass. Eat it, eat it, eat it. We okay. We still need this ninja ass for that <laughs> for that knocked out because knocked out has bad defense. It's a special defensive monster, but it's bad at defense. So we need to keep this ninja ass around. I'm gonna go for a U-turn. Does a decent amount actually. Oh, that's a crit. Never mind. Poison point. Poison point. Cedra. Never mind. It's not start sniper Cedra. It's one of those bulky sets. That's why Exodus is like nothing. So I'm assuming it's evil like bulky Cedra. Assuming he has toxic and the disable. That's why. Um, I have no regular really switch. I'm assuming a surf is gonna come. Uh, judging if between Emolga and Zip Striker, I'm needing for the Knocked Owl. Um, let's see what who's as choice specs Zip Strike is still going to outspeed the Knocked Owl because Knocked Owl is only based like 80 speed. I can always look it up in Bulky Type over here too. So, um, we have 162 speed on Zip Striker. How much do you have for Emolga? 165. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go into the Mog here and sack the Mog off so we can get a free switch and actually into the Zip Striker and outspeed. By Mo, you did a lot of work in this match, actually. A lot of work. Um. That being said, though, let's go into the Zeb Striker. I don't really want to go into the Ninja Ask because I'll have to take poison damage, and the and uh, the U-turn might not kill from this range. Judging by that crit, barely did that as, as much as HP as he has right now. I'm um, assuming probably the U-turn would not kill. Even the X Scissor would not kill. But then if I stayed in and did Exorcist, I would have to take toxic damage still. So this is gonna stay fit, stay in and actually Shadowbolt switch. I'm a Thunderbolt. Get as much damage off as I can on that knocked out. I don't think it really can uh, kill us from this range actually. We're choice specs too. Choice specs. I think we're. I think we might be timid or modest. I think one of those. 360 no scope, okay, that's gonna come out. The Stealth Rocks, I forgot the Stealth Rocks too, so. This ha does have a chance to kill, I can always calc it right now. I'm gonna calc it actually. Showdown Battle Calculator. Assuming this thing is probably max special defense, so. All right, it does have a chance to kill. It does have a chance to kill. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna go for it. Assuming this thing is max special defense, we are. Uh, if we were not with with um, choice specs, it would not have a chance to kill. But oh, we got lower rolled. Lower rolled. Crit. I don't know if the crit mattered. Tell me if the crit mattered to anybody. Whoever watches. If you made it this far, actually, I really appreciate that too. I'm um, assuming by the damage, though, we can go into Ninja Ask here. Ninja Ask should, should be able to kill from this range unless it outspeeds, which I'm assuming it won't. Or if it does have the protect, though, it could talk to the stall. You have to hit the double protect, though. X Scissor should kill from this range. Alright. Nice. Nice. This team is actually 10 0 now. I've actually been doing some battles with. Or not 10 0, 10 2. Got two losses with this team so far. It's been doing pretty damn good. One of my best PU teams I've ever made, actually. Good uh, GG BK Lux Ray. His, again, his channel link will be in the description, so I highly suggest you go out and check his channel. Um. <laughs> wow. Anyways, uh, that being said, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. See you guys next time.